my YouTube. Um, just an update on my um, gimbal that I've made uh, for the Hubson uh, 501. It's made up of um, uh, plastic, or it's obviously um, printed, 3D printed, and I've also ordered um, okay. I've also ordered for this uh, little gimbal, the RX, that one there. RX Gimbal Motors H108, uh, sorry, 108060 uh, ATT, uh, and I'm running a uh, base cam flight, uh, more not flight board, a uh, gimbal board, um, and obviously that works really well. I'm really happy with that and I'm running it at the moment uh, sorry about the camera on a little uh, nanotech battery little two cell tiny little thing and I'm just going to disconnect that a the tiny little things um, little nanotech battery but I'm really happy uh, with how this little thing's turned out um, it turned out alright. I've done a few modifications to it to make it because well, I want it a low profile uh, gimbal so that I don't have to raise the, um, the Hudson up too much. The camera's having trouble focusing. Yeah, I don't want it to be um, too high. So um, I'm really quite pleased with that. I don't want it to be too high off the floor um, so that. I mean it's very light as well, I mean it's really very light, um, that's obviously the, the motors are the, the heaviest thing, um, obviously the, um, the Mobius but I'm really happy with the way it's the way it's gone, very happy. So just to give you an update and hopefully when um, the nicer weather gets here I should be able to get out and um, have a little bit of a fly because I've got some more batteries there as well waiting to be used um, so yeah very very excited to see what the footage will be like so I hope you uh, hope you stay and posted people and uh, I shall have a few links below um, for the motors and uh, the, obviously the printout of what I've used I've done a few modifications to it but you yeah, see there it's quite easy and quite simple so I hope you like it guys and yeah, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.